asking me last time why I was interested in gardening and why I was growing my own food and I was thinking about that and one of my earliest my most favorite childhood memories is um, going out into my grandmother's garden she's Italian American so she had parsley and tomatoes and peppers and all the herbs and the rosemary and picking a ripe tomato off the vine with and she would give me a salt shaker and I would sprinkle salt on it and eat the tomato. And I have a lot of friends and family members who have that memory as well. Then my grandfather used to plant potatoes and I would go harvest the potatoes with him. And so I felt really disconnected from that for a long time. And one, I would say maybe about five or six years ago, I was living with someone who started a garden and it all kind of came flooding back to me that I felt very disconnected, not only from my heritage, but from my parents not my parents, sorry, but for my food and where my food came from. And so that's why, it's one of the reasons why I started gardening was because I wanted that experience of growing my own food, having access to fresh food, organic food that I didn't necessarily have to pay lots of money for. Um, but also gardening is something that as a society and a community we all used to do. Um, not so long ago, um, before the, you know, the 1950s, everyone had their own garden. I can relax and enjoy and a place that I can share with guests and to be honest I have more food than I can eat and one of the pleasures is being able to share that harvest with people. So I have a girlfriend um, in town who's on a budget and this is the way she gets her fresh vegetables is because she comes over here and, and grabs stuff for dinner. So that's been really again about connecting people and community and, and really enjoying food. <laughs>